All righty, good morning, guys. We are live. It is 9.45 a.m. This Thursday morning, beautiful, sunshiny, warm Thursday morning. I say warm, it's just downright hot. But we like it a lot. Come on, guys, join us. We're going to start another devotion this morning, looking at another hymn. Followed by some awesome scripture from the Word of God. Going to look at um, a song. It, again, I, you know, I had no intention of singing or covering this song as I was praying this morning, and my mind just draw just drew a blank. I just didn't know what to talk about this morning. And as I was praying you know, on my way to work, Lord, you know, give us the topic that you want us to to cover and to deal with listen i know i can get on here i've got a song book right up here and you know that i can thumb through and pick out any song i want but i like it when the holy spirit leads me to a song leads me to a devotion that in scripture that we can um cover that is going to help somebody and you know because the holy spirit doesn't just do something just for the fun of it you know there's a purpose there's a reason and this here that we're going to cover this morning is fantastic news. It's an encouragement. It's something that um, Christians, we, we need to hear this almost daily now because of our troubles and heartaches. And the song says, we will soon be done with troubles and trials. And I tell you what, I'm looking, how many is happy to know that this world ain't going to last much longer. That when we leave this world, that we have a heavenly home that's prepared for us by God Himself. And, and, and Jesus is there waiting for us. And all the troubles and trials of this life will not even be a memory. People says, when I get to heaven, I want to ask God why I went through this and how come I... Who cares? I don't even care. By the time I get over there... I don't even want to know. All the troubles, all the trials that we've faced in life won't even be a memory. We won't even we won't even worry about it. We'll be thinking about, you know, everybody says, Oh, I'll get up there and 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 I'll rest and, and, and matter of fact this song talks about, you know, sitting by Jesus and resting in a little while. And I understand what he's talking about because we're so tired and weary in this world. But listen, when we get over into heaven, we're gonna receive a glorified body that never tires, never grows weary, never faints, um, never gets ill, you know, never is frustrated, never tempted, never troubled. When we get to heaven we'll have a glorified body. And we'll be able to go, 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 and, and never wear out. And I'm glad of that because I tell you what, we got a lot of worshiping and praising to do. Not only here, but when we get on the other side. But anyway, the song says we'll soon be done with troubles and trials. And, and I don't have history on this song, but um, other than um, Clevent, Clevent Derricks had written this song, and it was published in 1934. Um, by the publishing um, Stamps and Baxter, I believe it is, um, that published this song. Other than that, we don't really have a lot of history other than um, Reverend Derricks was a pastor, and, and um, I think he was born in 1910. He died in 1977. Um, wrote this song, wrote When God Dips His um, The Pen of Love in My Heart, I think is the name of that title. When God Dips His Pen in My Heart. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the song. Um, let me see what else um, he wrote just a little talk with Jesus makes it right that's another song that he's written but this morning we're covering we'll soon be done and let's go ahead and get into our scripture reading in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and this is in verse um, 17 and 18 and I love this writing and this was Paul writing and it says for our light afflictions which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. In verse 18, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, temporary. 
But the things which are not seen are eternal. And then let's go to my favorite verse next to John 3.16. In Romans chapter 8, verse 18, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And then look in James chapter 1, verse 12. It says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptations or trials. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Aren't you glad this morning that one of these days will soon be done with troubles and trials? And if we stay faithful and we endure through this trial and this trouble and this um, temptation in this world, if we endure and we overcome that, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. If you love the Lord and you, and you gave your life to the Lord, you accepted Christ as your Savior, and you do your best to keep His commandments, and you endure the temptations and the fiery darts of the devil, and you overcome these things through Christ, you can, then your reward is going to be that crown of life. I know that Paul... When he wrote this, and, and listen, I know that we have heartaches and troubles and we face, there's things in life that we face that is just so unimaginable. I just can't even fathom in my mind how people go through situations. And I pray to God that I don't ever have to go through something like some people go through. But I am made to believe that even if we do, that God is great and His mercy will endure, and that He will give us what we need to carry on through through Him. So when I say, when I read that in verse four, first four, chapter four, verse seventeen, um, Second Corinthians, when I read this, I you know Paul says for our light afflictions, and what he's talking about is he's comparing his the afflictions, he's comparing your troubles your heartaches, your, your troubles that you go through daily almost. He's comparing that to eternity. He's comparing all of our hardships and our sadness to what God has in store for us if we endure. And when we compare any bad thing, and I'm not, you know, listen, I had a cousin that just lost her, her child in a house fire two-year-old child. And I just can't imagine the pain and sadness even to this day that she's facing. And I pray for her daily. And I can't imagine that. But Paul, you know, so we can't, how could we? How could Paul call that in a light affliction? But what he's saying is there is joy and there is happiness and there is peace and there is so much more that God has to offer us when we get to heaven that our worst situation on earth is just a light affliction compared to the glory that God's going to reveal in us. And folks, I want to share that with you this morning. I'm not making light of your situations. I'm not telling you, you know, that what you're facing isn't, you know, hard or difficult or troublesome. But what I'm saying is you take what you're facing and you compare it to the Word of God. You compare it to God's glory, God's grace, God's love. You um, compare what you're facing to what the gifts of heaven is going to be. And every trial that we go through is just going to seem like a light affliction. No wonder Romans 8, 18, Paul says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Folks, there is something that God has in store for us when we get to heaven. And our afflictions and our troubles and our trials on earth won't even be worthy to be compared. We're going to look at this song. And so this morning as I was in the guard shack and I was praying, God, what do you want me to have? And, and I had to go into the office and do a few things and come back. And I found myself humming this song. And I know not really really well but I've heard it many times 
and it started humming, we'll soon be done with troubles and trials. And I thought, well, yeah, that's a good one. And so as I sat and, and looked up the song and kind of got some history and some scripture, I thought this would be great. You know, this is a great encouragement this morning for each one of us to know that we'll be done with troubles and trials, that it won't last forever, that one of these days it's all going to be over with and there's going to be nothing but reward. There's not going to be, there's going to be nothing but um, peace and happiness. I got somebody coming in. Be right back. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and get this song out, and then we got to get going here. Alrighty, so the first verse is, um, Some of these days I'm going home where no sorrow ever come. We'll soon be done with troubles and trials. Say from heartache, pain, and care, we shall all that glory share. Then I'm going to sit down beside my Jesus, sit down and rest a little while. Verse 2 says, Kindred and friends now wait for me. Soon their faces I shall see. We'll soon be done with troubles and trials. Tis a home of life so fair, and we'll all be gathered there. Sit down beside my Jesus. I'm going to sit down and rest a little while. Verse 3, you know this song, don't you? It says, I shall behold his blessed face. I shall feel his matchless grace. We'll soon be done with troubles and trials. Oh, what peace and joy sublime in that home of love divine. I'm going to sit down beside my Jesus, sit down and rest a little while. And you know the chorus of this song. We'll soon be done with troubles and trials in that home on the other side. I'm going to shake glad hands with the elders, tell my kindred good morning, sit down beside my Jesus, I'm going to sit down and rest a little while. And you know the tune. We'll soon be done with troubles and trials. In that home. On the other side. I'm going to shake glad hands with the elders. Tell my kindred good morning. Sit down beside my Jesus. Sit down and rest a little while. Listen, I'm enthusiastic and and. and little um, hyper <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to sit down and rest a little while but I can't wait to see my Lord and Savior face to face tell you I'm looking forward to that so folks listen let me get off of here but I just want to say one more time we'll soon be done with troubles and trials endure to the end there's a crown of life waiting for each one of us share this video Lord willing we'll be back on tomorrow with another devotion love you and God bless you guys